Okay, so you don't have to live under a rock to know that rapper Kendrick Lamar and Drake, they are beefing hard right now, especially as the two kept dropping diss tracks on each other. How does Atlanta factor in? In a major way. Over the weekend, things got heated as the two released fueling diss tracks, five of them, including the song Not Like Us in it. K-Dot references some notable Atlanta rappers saying Drake has to tag along with them to get a little street cred. Take a listen. People said you can be from north side, but two chains say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. It is a song everybody is bopping to right now. So last week, Kendrick Lamar also mentioned Gunna and Lil Yachty in his song Euphoria. In the past, Drake has cited Atlanta and his rappers as his inspiration, saying during his tour stop here last year, all the artists that I love, all the artists that inspire me, the majority of them come from right here in Atlanta. So far, the two have traded jabs. I mean, they are going below the belt. They're taking it to the basement, talking about taking Ozempic while also really bringing out some pretty serious allegations against one another. On the lighter note, we already know where former President Barack Obama stands. We know he is a hip hop head because of a viral video from 2016 with YouTube interview with Swoozy that is trending this morning. Listen, Drake and Kendrick Lamar got in a rap battle. Who do you think would win? You got to go with Kendrick. I'm just saying. <laughs> and the man has spoken. This morning, some videos are going viral of people actually explaining the drama to their babies. This is one of my favorites. The comment sections did not disappoint, saying, I need everything explained to me like this. Got the popcorn ready. I am listening. Guys, in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, you know what I love? Teacher TikTok is saying that the kids are talking about this rap beef so intense because Kendrick Lamar gives all these like double and quadruple entendres. They're breaking it down in class. So it's a lesson for the children. It's too. a teaching moment, Professor McNeil. Mm -hmm. Not in my class. <laughs> not in your <laughs> class. <laughs> they would laugh at me. They would, they would really laugh at me. Just not in Professor McNeil's class. We talk about the environment. There you go. But that's a part of the environment too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Admittedly, it is a part of my world growing up. Rat beef is one of my favorite things, and this one is not disappointing. I'm taking Kate out all the way. West Coast.